Hello again, I am Blunty. Now, if you're into indie games, well, to be honest, there are slim pickings at the EB Games Expo. As an expo run by a retail chain, I guess indie devs aren't really that important to them, but they give them a little space, so props for that, I guess. PAX, on the other hand, which is on in just three weeks' time, has loads of sweet, sweet indie stuff, so I'll be able to devote more video time to indies then. But, back at the EB Expo, there are only a couple of things that caught my eye in the there in the area. The first was this cool looking but far from finished platformer called Grim Balance. Look for it next year apparently. It seemed fun to me and I loved the art style. The bar was also in the indie area which gave me a reason to keep coming back for an occasional crispy cold beer to refresh my spirits. <laughs> I love beer. But there was only one game that really caught my attention. It was called Stormworm, and if you've ever played Snake before, you're going to love it. But it is a bit more than simply a shinier HD looking remake. It is, if you like, a reimagining. The concept is simple. It is Snake, but on a 3D spherical surface instead of a 2D plane. It reminded me a bit of how Super Stardust took the basic arcade shooter and wrapped it around a globe. And just like Super Stardust, Stormworm actually manages to lose nothing of what made the original gameplay fun, simple and addictive. You do have a few more bells and whistles than the original version here also too, including score multipliers and power-up blocks, classic arcade stuff. But that's pretty much all there is to it. But it's everything I love about these old-school inspired arcade games. Super simple for anybody to pick up and play, pleasant to look at, addictive without feeling like it'll get tired and boring, and most of all, it's just simply fun. It's the kind of game you can spend quite a long time on grinding away and hunting new high scores, or you can simply kill a few minutes on it while waiting for a train or something. It's out right now on the Google Play Store for your Android devices for a couple of dollars, and there's no in-app purchases, no microtransaction bullcrap, which I know for many of us is a deal breaker, so I'm happy to see none of that here. And it's also compatible with Android joypads like the Moga Pro, so you can even play it with proper controls if you like. And while at the expo it was being demonstrated on a PC, it's not quite there yet. It is trying to make its way onto Steam Greenlight right now. So go hit up the dude's website in the video description and throw a vote at it, because it deserves to be there as far as I'm concerned. And the process of getting it up on Apple iOS devices is underway also. But I don't have a solid timeline on that, so I'm not sure how long we're going to have to be waiting. So maybe follow the Stormworm Twitter account to keep an eye out for when that happens. Because that's when I'll be buying too, my daily driver phone being the iPhone and all. And like I said, it's exactly what I want in a quick blast IKD mobile game. But you Android folks can go get it right now. Which I suggest you do, because if you haven't picked up on it by now, I enjoyed the game very much, and I think it's worth a couple of bucks. So yeah, that's my favourite indie game from EB Expo. Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.